today I want to show you how to put pack film into your Polaroid land camera. This happens to be a super shooter that I got at a thrift store for about five dollars. And I went through and I cleaned it up a lot, I cleaned the lens up, I uh, went through the back and made sure uh, all the rollers were nice and clean because that's how when you pull out the, the pack film it, it makes the uh, chemicals and that basically is the processing a part of it. So these rollers need to be make sure they're nice and clean and they, they can roll and everything like that. So this one actually came with an older, um, this is basically the canister that you would put into it, uh, this particular one, like that. And when I got it, I wasn't sure if it worked because the shutter didn't open up. Now if you look, you see the shutter there? And if I put it this way, I bet you can for sure. Can you see that shutter there? Yeah. So without the batteries, um, it doesn't open up because it has an electric shutter to it. And the good thing about this particular camera here, it doesn't have some weird uh, batteries. It actually uses AA batteries. So you hit the little open button and you put the batteries in there, like so. Just put them in there. And it actually shows you the diagram, exactly how to put them in there. And then you just uh, close it up. Like that, and just pull down to open it up. Yeah. So, uh, and, uh, Go ahead and put fresh batteries in there because once you got film in there, you know, if, it, if the electric shutter dies and you're not going to be able to take any, take any photos. So then you can check it, like I did, to make sure it works before you buy film. Make sure that shutter opens up. Now that's at uh, 75. This is at 3000. And can you see a little bitty dot that's there? You may not be able to see it. There's a little bitty dot there because um, the aperture is a lot smaller. That aperture there it was all fun. Yeah. So I know the camera will work with, with film in there. So, um, anyways, I cleaned the lens off. I cleaned the, the spot meter that's there. And this one here, as a focus, has infinity, uh, I guess past 30 feet. And then it has three and a half feet is the closest. And I actually bought a uh, tape uh, measurer. So when I focus, this, this is going to help me know exactly how far away. And again, this pack film isn't very sharp. I mean, you're not going to get the high detail that you would, you know, with any camera that you have today. Uh, but again, it's something that's kind of cool and retro. And I have some friends that are shooting uh, in this, and I happen to see this at a thrift store. I thought, well, you know, why not? This film here is about $8, $8 to $9. Um, it fluctuates. And uh, this is the color film. Apparently, there's black and white film that they're not making right now. Uh, you can still find it. That's about 20, and it, and those the black white photos are amazing. They look amazingly sharp and everything. So let's go through and load this uh, film in here. Again, the rollers are here. If I want to uh, take it off, kind of just hit this little area here and pull these little tabs. I'll kind of go like this to make them out. And that way, you, they basically recommend for you to uh, wipe them down every time you're going to use them to make a nice turn clean. At the ends, this was a used one that has been there for a while. I spent, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so cleaning the ends to make sure there's all the little chemical gunk is out of there. And then you just put that back in there and you'd be ready to shoot some film. So let's go and load the film now. Okay, so I'll open up the pack of film. Pretty much like any other box. And it's nice and protected. Don't uh, press the middle of it because that's might uh, have the die go and ruin your film. And that's not good. There's a little area there that you use to open up the film. And it's kind of exciting. Okay, so, so here's the film. There's the film there. That's where the negative is going to be at. Uh, and these here are your exposure. So we got 10 of them here. And this here, this black tab here, is covering up, the, making sure the light doesn't go in there and expose your film before you put it into the film. So if you look, here's the canister once it's spent. There's nothing in it. And here's a canister that is uh, not spent. So the most important thing is make sure you have these tabs on the outside as you put the film into it. And it just brings each one, one by one, by one like that. Out. So let's put this in slowly and make sure it works. So put it into there like that. So it fits in the fits there. And then I'll 
close it up and then cover this up here like this. I gotta make sure I got that black tab there. And in theory, I should be able to pull this thing out now and be able to shoot some film. So once I put the film in there, and I'll, I'll do it one more time to kind of make sure you see how, how it functions. Put the film in, that side there, towards the, towards the lens. Okay. This black tab needs to hang out, and you're going to pull it, and the white tabs will come out, and that's basically going to show you your exposure. So you close it up, and you see the black tab. Oh, that's out. Okay, I'm going to close it up, and hopefully it's nice and tight right there. All right, and then I got a little holder holder here, so I can hold this as I pull. And not, apparently, a nice, uh, nice steady pull is going to, going to help it work out. So let's just pull this thing, and now the film is ready to expose. And I got, if you look there, it has a number one. I know it's a little hard to see, but it says one right there. And now I'm ready to take a photo. So uh, that's how you can load your Polaroid uh, land camera with some pack film. Hope this helps. Rock and roll, everybody. And I'll go out and take some photos of it now. Yeah.